The ABC 7i team taking a closer look this week at the resurgence of COVID cases across the Illinois state prison system. At least 27 pris prisons are now in COVID lockdown right now with no visitors allowed. So earlier this week, investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy spoke to the mother of an inmate at Western Illinois Correctional Center in Mount Sterling. Her son Robert Green is among at least 246 inmates at that facility who are now sick with COVID and another 41 staff members are also sick. They need to be able to sanitize their space and whether they're inmates or not, they need to be treated like human beings if they don't do better about getting him some medication and sanitizing the facility, I might lose my child. That's my only child. Mary Thompson says that her son has asthma and is vulnerable to serious COVID complications. We repeatedly asked the Illinois Department of Corrections about these expanding COVID numbers as well. The department has not responded. You could read more on the I-Team's investigation into COVID and its impact on Illinois prisons right now on our website. It's an issue the I-Team will continue to follow as well throughout the pandemic. The Better Government Association has also looked into this issue as well and says the COVID trend that we're seeing highlights other long-standing issues in the Illinois prison system. So John Chase from the BJ joins us this morning to talk all about this. John, good morning. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, nice to have you. So the BGA found progress with controlling COVID in prisons. It has really been slower than expected. And why is that? Yeah, it's a number of reasons. Um, one of the biggest reasons is because there was this slow rollout of, uh, of staffers uh, and, and prison guards uh, being vaccinated. And because of that, many haven't even gotten their booster yet, uh, whereas a lot of uh, a lot of those who have gotten the vaccine are already boosted. Um, only 12% are going to be are, are boosted right now, um, and so many are having their vaccines. Uh, but there was a there was a uh, lawsuit that was challenged, and and because of that, it pushed a lot of the timing back for these staffers, and that's been a big entry point for uh, a lot of the prisons and for COVID getting into the prisons is is the staffers bringing it bringing it there. Yeah, and prison staffing, it is just an issue right now as well. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is one of the things our report really sort of tried to highlight is the prisons were already having major problems before COVID happened. And then when COVID happened, it really sort of cracked open the, the, uh, the already cracked egg that was the Illinois Department of Corrections system. Um, and because of because of that, it exacerbated all sorts of problems. Staffing is uh, there's massive overtime uh, occurring right now because of because of understaffing, and that's leading to burnout. They're talking about 2,000 uh, more corrections officers on top of the 6,000 they're currently on staff would be needed in order to like uh, to to prevent all that overtime. Um, and two of the areas where really staffing has been hit is nurses and and. Um, and doctors, those have been understaffed for years. And so with the burnout factor that we're seeing all across the country uh, for uh, numerous uh, throughout the throughout the industry, all the industries, but prisons have been especially hit hard and that's affecting the prisoners and, and, and those who are in the prisons, the people in prison um, who are uh, so have mental health issues or just medical issues. All right, John Chase with the BGA, thank you very much this morning. Thanks a lot for having me. So you can read more BJ articles at bettergov.org. We're always posting a link as well on our website, abc7chicago.com.